break the seal against Cole Hamels. And Yelich in the air, right center field. Castellanos looking up, and there it goes! Josh Hader was born April 7th, 1994, and is a pitcher for the Milwaukee Brewers. He's a two-time All-Star and two-time winner of the National League Reliever of the Year Award. Hader attended Old Mill High School in Millersville, Maryland, where he played for the school's baseball team. As a senior, Hader had a 10-0 win-loss record and a .30 earned run average and 125 strikeouts. He also had a 400 batting average. After graduating from high school, Hader was prepared to enroll at a community college. Instead, the Baltimore Orioles selected Hader in the 19th round of the 2012 MLB Draft. He signed with the Orioles for a $40,000 signing bonus rather than attending college. Beginning his professional career, Hader's fastball velocity increased from 84 to 88 miles per hour as a high school player to 94 to 95 miles per hour as he changed his workout routine. Hader played for Gulf Coast Orioles in the rookie level Gulf Coast League in the Aberdeen Ironbirds of the Class A short season New York Pan League allowing only 14 hits and 9 walks while striking out 48 and 28 in the third innings pitched. In 2013, the Orioles assigned Hader to the Delmarva Shorebirds of the Class A South Atlantic League. He appeared in the SAL All-Star Game and through July 31st pitched to a 3-6 record with 79 strikeouts and a 2.65 ERA in 17 games started. On July 31st, 2013, the day of the MLB trade deadline, the Orioles traded Hader and LJ Hose to the Houston Astros in exchange for Bud Norris. He completed his 2013 season with the Quad City River Bandits of Class A Midwest League. Pitching for the Lancaster Hawks of the Class A Advanced California League in 2014, Hader and two relief pitchers combined to throw a no-hitter on May 13th. After pitching to a 9-2 record with a league-leading 2.7 ERA and 112 strikeouts and 103 in a third innings, the Astros promoted him to the Corpus Christi Hooks of the Class AA Texas League in August. He was named the California League Pitcher of the Year. Hader returned to the Corpus Christi in 2015. He was selected to play for the United States national baseball team in the 2015 Pan American Games. On July 30, 2015, the Astros traded Hader, Brett Phillips, Domingo Santana, and Adrian Hazard to the Milwaukee Brewers for Carlos Gomez and Mike Fires. The Brewers assigned Hader to the Biloxi Shuckers of the Class AA Southern League. He finished the season with 3.03 ERA combined between the two teams. The Brewers invited him to the spring training in 2016. Hader began the 2016 season with the Biloxi and made his first start with the Colorado Springs Sky Sox of the Class AAA Pacific Coast League on June 12th. He was selected to appear in the 2016 All-Star Futures game, and the Brewers added him to their 40-man roster after the season. Hader began the 2017 season with the Colorado Springs again. The Brewers promoted him to the Major Leagues on June 9th, and on June 10th he made his Major League debut. Hader began the 2018 in the Milwaukee bullpen, but on April 30th, Hader became the first pitcher ever to record eight strikeouts in an outing that was less than three innings long when he recorded a two and two-thirds inning save against the Cincinnati Reds, in which he faced nine batters recording eight strikeouts and one walk. A check swing. He went around. It's blocked by Pena. He applies the tag on Votto, and he's gone. He's ready to work again. One-two pitch. Swing and a miss. There's the slider. Hader comes in, strikes out Votto, strikes out Shebler. Here's the one-two. And there's his third strike out of the night. He's got a piece. Pena hangs on, and that's out number one. Going in, one, two. Swing and a miss. He blew him away with gas at 97. And another strikeout for Josh Hader. My goodness. Hader deals again. Bunting and bunting foul is Hamilton, and he's gone on strikes. Again, the 2-2. Two, two. Another strikeout, seven of them now for Josh Hader. Hader brings the one-two. He struck him out. Oh, what a night for Josh Hader. Eight strikeouts as the Brewers defeat Cincinnati six to five. That is just incredible stuff what you just witnessed from Josh Hader. Owning a 1.21 ERA with 83 strikeouts in 44 innings, Hader was named to the 2018 MLB All-Star Game. 
Hader appeared in the 2018 All-Star Game at the top of the 8th inning. This would have seemed like a high point in his career, but right after the All-Star Game, drama struck. During the 2018 All-Star Game, a series of tweets by Hader, ranging from mid-2000 level to late 2012, were discovered to contain racist, homophobic, and sexist content. Friends and family of Hader who were invited to the game were given blank jerseys to wear due to the controversy. Hader issued an apology after the game and deleted his Twitter account. But besides that one bump in the road, 2018 Hader finished with a 6-1 record with 12 saves and a 2.43 ERA. And he also had 143 strikeouts and 81 in the third innings. This among MLB pitchers who threw at least 20 innings, Hader held the left-hand batters to the lowest batting average at a .88. Because of these accomplishments, he won the 2018 National League Reliever of the Year Award. Hader began the 2019 season as the Brewers' closer following injuries to fellow relievers Jeremy Jeffress and Corey Knable. On March 30th, Hader pitched an immaculate inning to earn the save against St. Louis Cardinals, striking out Tyler O'Neill, Dexter Fowler, and Yario Munez on nine consecutive strikes, seven of which were sw swinging strikes. We're pretty quiet since the fourth inning, and now the Brewers trying to keep it that way, and they have a pretty good guy to get that done as Josh Hader is on the mound. And a pick of his first save of the year. Look at number two. And he faces Tyler O'Neill to lead things off. Attack of the first pitch. A foul ball. Just terrific as he so often is. Hater's performance on opening day. Piling up the strikeouts as he did a year ago, and he's ahead two strikes and nothing with a blow by inside on O'Neill. Yeah, 96. Just jumping into that strike zone. A little extra energy in the ballpark when the lefty is on the mound. Two strike pitch to O'Neill, and they struck out number one tonight for Hader. Dexter Fowler at the plate, the switch hitter. And he's behind as Hader elevates at 97. Yeah, the one guy that's hit him well in his career is. Jose Martinez and he's been used. He's done. That's the good news. Well, Martinez has taken Hader deep. Going back to last year. Almost did it again on Thursday afternoon. Oh and two. That well, was straight gas on Thursday and bringing more of it here tonight. To the Dexter Fowler. Hader brings it. And there's strikeout number two. And he faces Gyro Munoz. Last shot here for the Cardinals. Two outs, bases empty. And Hader hits the edge for strike one. Four strikeouts on Thursday afternoon. He struck out the first two here tonight of the ninth. And he's a strike away from wrapping this one up. Six thousand plus watching Josh Hader try to close this one out. Two strikes or nothing to Munoz. He strikes out the side. An immaculate inning for Josh. That year, Hader once again made the All-Star team. But in the 2019 National League Wild Card game, Hader blew the save for the Brewers, giving up a three-run single to Juan Soto of the Washington Nationals, which coupled with an error from right fielder Trent Grisham, led to Washington's go-ahead run scoring on the play, and resulted in the Brewers eventually losing the game. 
Hayter finished the 2019 season with a 3-5 record and 2.62 ERA and still had 138 strikeouts over 72 and two-thirds relief innings. He won his second consecutive NL Reliever of the Year award. To me, Josh Hader is just getting started, and I predict that he will become a Hall of Famer someday. So I hope you enjoyed this video and subscribe for more content like this.